Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Mark from Woodworker Source. First, great to see you again. Second, gonna try to expand your woodworking horizons a little bit today and tell you about a wood called leopard wood. So my job is to help you get a little more enjoyment out of trying new things. So here we go. So it has this dazzling figure plus a rich mahogany color that's really cool. So some sources call this lace wood because it kind of resembles laces weaving in and out of the surface of the wood. And oddly enough, it's not too far from the truth. But I'm not a botanist, so I'm going to try to explain this at street level. So you might be aware how trees have growth rings that make up their diameter. So medullary rays are thin sheets of cells that run perpendicular to those growth rings. And they run throughout the tree from the center to the outside or to the bark. So if you're looking at the end of a log, they kind of look like spokes running out from the center. And these medullary rays are easier to see in some woods more than others. So when these woods with big medullary rays are quarter sawn or rift sawn, you're really gonna see that figure really show up in the surface of the wood, therefore producing a really cool figure. So the next question is why would you choose this wood or what would you use it for? And the simple answer is you'd use it for just about anything. It's basically just another option or another choice for making a decorative project that you wanna add a little punch to. And you're gonna be pleasantly surprised at how well the wood machines and shapes and sands. It's not too bad as long as your tools are good and sharp. So lace wood versus leopard wood, why the two names? What's up with that? <sighs> Bigger topic than we can probably cover here today. Here's the gist, all right? In English-speaking countries, imported woods get named things that help describe what they look like, and different sources will pick their own names, is the bottom line. Uh, there's also cultural differences, language differences that affect what a wood gets called based on where it ends up in the world, based on where it grows in the world. Mm. So, uh, where were we? Where were we? Ah. Either way, this is pretty stuff, and we call it leopard wood. This is what it looks like. <laughs> you wanna see all this stuff cuts and routes and sands and finishes up? Let's go build something. <laughs> 